Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It is Juventus up against Inter. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? In Turin. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczesny stands between the posts. Leonardo Bonucci plays alongside Daniele Rugani in the centre of defence. Juan Cuadrado starts with Filip Kostic on the flanks. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And this is how it looks for Inter. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Hakan Chalanolu plays alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. Kostic. No way through. Who can they pick out? Oh, blocked it! And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. <laughs> Playing it in, and still dangerous. Milik. <laughs> Oh, he's given us away. Well, Arkadiusz Milik can be a real handful for any opponent. Stuart, what do you expect him to deliver this time around? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player. But it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. A fine block. Dangerous ball. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Venturing forward, Mkhitaryan. Surely, and a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded.
Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. has restarted, 1-0 here. Moise Keane. Kostic has it. Weston McKenney. Milik. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Dzeko. Barella. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Dzeko. They keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Is it going to be Mkhitaryan? What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Alexandro. Now Radio. Possession one. Jekko. It's a weighted pass. And after the cross, a tremendous block. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. play it in well, let's see about the cross oh, a disappointing effort making the keeper's life a bit too easy good work from Inter to win it back Dzeko well they must exercise caution standing off as they are Mkhitaryan Oh, magnificent reaction And a short corner, let's see Cross fired over well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Martinez. Now with Barella. Chalhanolu. Can he put it in? And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. deciding to go short with this one well clattered away Martinez the defender doing his job Well, opting for the short corner. The delivery. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Well, as you can see, Juventus have dominated possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Moise Keane. Contrado. Rabio! Determined block. Rabio just can't get it past them. He's in here. Can he 
convert. Oh, he's found the net, and that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted, and just what they deserve. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So, half-time it is, the end of the first half here in Turin. Well, a really superb driven performance by Edin Dzeko here, Stuart. Yeah, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He looks such a threat every time he gets the ball. And, of course, he scored a very good goal. So the ball is moving again, and it was a delightful performance from Inter in the first half of this match. Barella. And an astute piece of defending. Keane. And Inter with acres of space out wide. An alert intervention. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Going short. That's not a bad ball. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. They favoured a short one here. That's excellent defending. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. Can they make it 3-0? And that is when you need your goalkeeper. And taken short. He does have pressure to deal with. Losing possession here. A cross lacking guile and accuracy. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. It's a substitution for Juventus. <laughs> and that was never likely to trouble the keeper. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity.
And now Arkadiusz Milik. Well, it looks highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Alessandro Bastoni. The ball with Martinez. Dzeko. It's going to be a free kick for Juventus. Danilo Bonucci it's with Milik strong but fair tackle racing forward trying to catch them out crossing opportunity well it looked highly promising but it came to nothing in the end Locatelli, Milik, Moise Keane, in it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2 1 lead as things stand. Barella. Now with Mkhitaryan. Martinez. Well, he's won the ball. Well, this game will shortly be history and the home side appear to be on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, give us your take. Well, it's been a tight match, but they haven't done quite enough going forward, in my view. It's all been a bit too predictable. A lot of... Real chance! Oh, did so well to deny him. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Now sending it in. And a struggle to get it away properly. Chalhanolu. Cross could be useful. Oh, what a fine save and a timely one, Stuart. Well, that does give them some hope because that would have been the end. Substitution time it is here. It's a short corner. And crossing towards the far post. It didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. Kostic, and possession given away. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving, because it's still close. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Well, just listen to this crowd. They want a bit more, they know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance, maybe two. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Chalanolu. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Moise Keane. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, no way through. And a throw for Inter. And a Juventus personnel change here.
And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. And a standout performance, not for the first time, from Hakan Chalanolu. Stuart, he does know how to turn on the style. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. 